Now, for those of you who've seen my other videos, this, this plant is becoming a bit of a uh, uh, an online star. It is, in fact, the Forsythia. Uh, it's a plant that I inherited when we moved in here. I've had to do a bit of pruning because it was left to go a bit wild, but the flower is absolutely amazing. And you'll see them at the beginning of spring all over the country as you drive around. There's masses of gold flowering shrub. And of course, at the beginning of the year, of course, you naturally see a lot of dandelions coming into flowers, lots of daffodils. Yellow and gold is the colour of spring, and it's really worth having one of these in your garden. But of course, you do need to give it a bit of a trim. Or not, as the case may be. If you just want a big shrub in the back corner of the garden to left to go wild, to fill up some space, to be great nesting for birds, to give you colour in spring, this is your plant. If you want to trim it tight to make it into a beautiful flowering hedge, you trim it just as well as you would do with privet or beech or something similar. But I've got this more as an ornamental shrub and it's quite close to the back of the house, so I don't want it going absolutely nuts. And it hadn't been pruned before, so I did some pruning techniques that I'd like to show you uh, because some of, them, uh, uh, some of them have worked, would you believe? For a start off, at the base, this plant was, had no branches up to about there and it just had a complete top top. So what I did was I cut out about 5% of the lower branches that were down here, bringing it down to, so, so there are some stumps rather than just branches up. And those stumps have produced all this lower foliage. So where I had a massive gap, it's starting to fill out. And that's what I want is one beautiful, almost dome shaped uh, 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 bush or shrub that'll be absolutely covered in flowers in the spring. So I'm not going to do that this year because the, the fruits of my pruning last year is already starting to produce this facial growth. Now, what happens is it, it grows into a very tight bush and you want to cut out any dead, diseased and damaged. And of course, plants get damaged as there's loads of crossing branches in the middle and it gets a bit of a thicket. As the wind moves it, the branches rub against each other you know, some of the bark comes off and can cause this disease. So right in the middle, you will see a couple of really big hero branches. So what I do is I take out a couple a year and that frees the heart, that puts the energy in the plant in producing new growth and it just strips out some of the centre. So if it, if it was a knuckle like that, I've taken away two of those. I've got, I've got to be very careful how I do this. I've taken two, two uh, branches out of the middle to free the heart. And then you just reduce it in height. I suppose 50%, something like that. So if you've got a, a large branch like this one here coming up, I'd reduce it by about 50%. I cut it, as you notice, I've just cut it where the, uh, the leaves, the side branches join, so there's no little stump above where the, the branches are. And I'm just reducing it in height like that. One important thing, of course, I never throw anything away. These branches get cut up and put into into my compost tea. And that way I'm going to try and create a dome shape with this one, bushy at the bottom, free in the middle, lovely shape. So when it comes into flower next spring, it'll be a huge dome of gold. And during the summertime, it's a very neat bush. The one thing I do recommend if you are pruning anything that's got a thicket like that is thoroughly examine it to make sure that there are no birds nesting. That's one of the big things. And it's unlike a hedge or whatever where we don't trim hedges uh, from uh, from March onwards. When you're pruning shrubs, it's a lot easier for you to investigate to make sure you're protecting birds. And June is the latest to prune the Forsythia. If you prune it any later, of course, you're cutting out next year's flowers. If you like this video, please give it a like and share with your friends and family. Remember to subscribe for more content like this and switch on notifications to be notified of my latest videos.